What's the easiest way to start making smaller fourth axis parts on your mill? You're looking at it right here. This is what Haas was built off of. The first product Haas ever made was the HA5C rotary indexer. Now back in 1983, the HA5C looked a little different, but still provided the same high quality fourth axis machining to shops everywhere. Fast forward to today, whether you've got a VF like this one or a smaller mill, this HA5C indexer is a great way to step into the world of fourth axis parts. These units really lend themselves to smaller parts made from bar stock, typically between an eighth and one inch in diameter. Those sizes of bars are easily gripped by the 5C collets that handle the work holding side of things in these 5C indexers. And we're not just talking about round bar stock. There's square, hexagonal, and plenty of other extruded shapes that have collets readily available. Clamping and unclamping the bar stock is as easy as moving this handle back and forth. On the machine side, you just need one more thing to get started. You need the power amplifier to supply motive force to the indexer motor, along with the wiring to send power and controlling signals from the control to the indexer. Once the indexer is hooked up to the machine and initialized through the control, we're ready to go. Now, I can do all kinds of new things that weren't possible before. Mill flats, drill holes, tap holes, all at any angle. With the speed and the high accuracies of this indexer, I can make any kind of multi-face, multi-hole part I can dream of. Programming your fourth axis is very straightforward these days with all major CAM packages. And from there, adding mill, drilled, and tap features indexed at any angle is just a matter of what you or your customer can imagine. And since the HA5C is connected directly to the mill, it can also perform full fourth axis simultaneous milling just as easy as indexing. That means spiral features and surface contouring are important new abilities this indexer will provide. But we'll delve into those options another time. For now, we just want to emphasize, if fourth axis machining is a place you're ready to go, then we've got an easy way to get there.